With an image projected, it is time to make adjustments in order to get the image to fit the board. You can push in or pull out the mount arm in order to get the image size to fit the whiteboard. On the mounting arm, there are markings for setting the length of the arm to achieve the desired image size. You then need to adjust the roll, pitch, and yaw of the projector to get the image squared. You can get assistance for these adjustments by using the on-screen help function inside the projector. Before doing so, you may need to adjust the projector focus so that you can read the instructions clearly. To adjust the focus, we open the latch on the left side of the projector where filters are found and adjust the focus lever by sliding it up or down until the image is in focus and we close the latch again. With the projector focused, you can now access the on-screen help with the remote by pressing the help button followed by the right arrow button. Once it is displayed, you can use the instructions to adjust the roll, pitch, and yaw. Adjustment dial 1 controls the horizontal roll of the projector. Dial number 2 adjusts the yaw, or horizontal keystone, and dial 3 adjusts the pitch, or vertical keystone. The long adjustment screw can also be used to raise or lower the projector arm as needed. When installed correctly, you should not have to use any digital correction on the projector. It is now time to mount the finger touch unit. Included with the Brightlink projector is a mount for attaching the touch module above the board. If you have determined at the start of the install that you must mount the touch unit to the board, you will not use the touch module mount. For the purposes of our video, we will install the touch unit above the board using the touch module mount. Using two screws, we first attach the finger touch unit to the included finger touch mount. Then we attach the two adjustable length side brackets to the finger touch unit with two screws on each side so they are secured to the unit. 